Hey guys, Marie here, and today I have decided to share a vlog video with you. Many of you guys don't know that I have a vlog, but I do, and this video that I made for it, I decided to share with you um, because there is a message at the end. The video is a little bit long, it's about um, 16 minutes. So if you do watch the whole thing, I thank you for that. If not, that's cool too. Um, but um, I'll let you know now that it's not my usual peppy, positive self. Um, there was an experience that I wanted to share with you. So um, if you watch it, that's great. If not, that's cool too. But in either way, have an awesome day. And um, yeah, that's all. Alright guys, I'm doing a vlog update since I haven't done one in a while. Today is um, Saturday, the 27th of February. So yesterday um, was a very unexpected day, to say the least. Um, I got up as normal, had coffee, started getting, you know, dressed, cleaning around the house, dishes, whatnot. And my mother-in-law called me. <clears throat> It was like 11.30, and she was like, uh, my cousin died last night, do you want to come to, uh, with me to the, the next city, which is about 30 minutes away from here? I was like, yeah, okay, I can go with you. Now, I was expecting to go to, um, her family's house to just, you know, offer our condolences and stuff and maybe talk about funeral arrangements, because, you know, in the States, it takes, um around a week or so for you to uh, do the services. So anyway, um, got to the city and we parked by um, the center and her other cousin came to pick us up. And before we went um, with him to go to the, the place, um, we went to stop and buy flowers and um, like a box of candy because in Bulgaria that's kind of the tradition of for anything, really. Um, but anyway, so when we got the flowers, she asked me, am I coming in? Which I didn't really understand what she meant, so I said, yeah, I can come in. Um, so she bought me flowers, her flowers, and um, the other cousin flowers. So we went and drove to um, the, gu the guy that died, his house, um, to see his family and stuff. And when we got there, his picture... In Bulgaria, when someone dies, they usually put um, a picture of the guy and, um, you know, his years and stuff um, around the city that he lived. So when we got there, his picture was already um, on his building. So we went upstairs, and Sorry, guys. Um. <laughs> Basically, they had the, um. What we call in the States a viewing at his house. So, I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting that. And, um. So, he was, um, already in the, um, the casket, but the casket is much different from the States. In the States, you know how ours are pretty big and hefty and bulky. Um, his was, uh, just a, like a box, I guess you want to say. Um, I guess inside it had, like, a little bit of, of blanket inside, maybe a pillow, not 100% sure. And, um, wow, this is a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> um, we went to... Ooh, if I could just gather myself here and tell you the, tell you the story, that would be great. <laughs> um. Ooh, all right. 
Anyway, uh, we went and um, put the flowers around him because um, we don't, they don't do like big bouquets um, for that anyway. They, um, they put the flowers around him, so I put the flowers around him, uh, gave the family the, the box of candy, and I don't, I don't know any of these people. A few people looked familiar, like, um, maybe one or two of them, like I'd seen them before, but, <clears throat> but, uh, so I didn't know them, so I just kind of, just kind of stood on the side, and in Bulgaria, um, most people live in apartment buildings, so he was on the seventh floor, and basically his door was open, so you could just go in and out, um, as you please, and, um, in the hallway of the building, they had a balcony, so I stayed on the balcony, you know, after we saw his family and stuff, um, I did talk with, I guess, his, uh, his daughter, the guy's daughter, um, she knew a little bit of English, so, um, Oh, I just said I was sorry, and, you know, I did, I'm not really <laughs> good with, uh, like, I guess, em emotionally. <laughs> um, so, I didn't know really what to say. Um, so that's all I could say. Um, and then around 2 o'clock, uh, I saw the hearse downstairs. And so I was like, alright. Um... So, I didn't even see them bring, like, the coffin from the apartment building to, uh, downstairs to the, the place. But anyway, um, we went to the, um, the graveyard, and there at the graveyard is a, a, a church kind of thing. So, they did, a, um, a service there. Had no idea what they were saying, because it's all in Bulgarian, obviously. Uh... And then we drove to the back of the graveyard because I didn't, I've never been to a Bulgarian graveyard. Like, I've been going to, to funerals and stuff since, you know, I was eight years old, but, you know, um, in the States, I don't know, it's just, it's just different here. So anyway, I drove to the back of the graveyard and everywhere, all the tombstones there have a picture of the person, so it's not just the name and the date. Um, so, but I guess we that was like the old part of the graveyard. So the new part, um, <laughs> I can say I've never been afraid of graveyards, but this one, when we got to the end, it was all fresh graves. <laughs> seven rows, and they didn't even have the tombstones yet, like, they just had, um, they had the cross, and the, um, the picture that I told you about, like, uh, on the, um, on the front of the building, like, they had that, so, you know, who was who, um, I guess later they're gonna add the tombstone, I don't know, but, um, <laughs> that kind of freaked me out, because I've never been to a graveyard with that many fresh graves, and they were all within, I would say, late um, late December up until now, obviously, you know, February. So all within, you know, two months. Just seven rows. All fresh. And, um, so we got there, and <laughs> they actually put the body in the ground. Um in front of you. Like, I've never been to a, a funeral that does that. So, uh, they, <clears throat> Whew. so after they put it in, um, you are supposed to go and also throw dirt on, um, on the coffin. Um, I didn't, only because I didn't feel comfortable, because I didn't really know him, so I just kind of, uh, hung around the other side, or whatever, um, and then, you know, that was it, we left, <sighs> but, 
as you leave, you know, you see all these people, you see all these people, all the faces, like, it's not just names and dates, it's like faces. There are a lot of young people, like, you know, probably around 30, you know, my age, you know, I'm almost 30. And, um, you know, what, you stop and think, like, the guy, her cousin that died, like, he died from a blood clot, like, he, you know, I asked, I was like, it, was he sick, were you expecting him to die, or, you know, what, you know, what happened, she was like, no, um, the day, um, during the day, I guess he complained that his leg hurt a little bit, but then it went away, and then, then nothing. And then around, uh, 6 or 6.30 that evening, you know, I guess he was walking around or something, and just the blood clot went from his leg to his heart, and that was it. Like, quick, you know, you don't, you, you don't even expect it. So... You know, all those young people, like, what do they do with their lives? You know, life, it's, it's too short. And, you know, we, we complain about everything in our lives, um, you know, we worry about everything. And then, um, at the end, <sighs> at the end, like, what does it matter, you know, any of it? <sighs> you know, we're, you know, all that worrying about your bills or Oh, you know, what kind of clothes you're going to wear, what kind of car you're going to drive, like, you, you can't take that in the ground with you, right? Um, I don't know, I've, like I said, I've, I've been to plenty of funerals through my life, but, um, I don't know why that hit me. Maybe it's because, you know, of the pictures on, on, on the tombstones that you can actually put a face to a name. And you can see how young some of those people were. Like, honestly, like, they were really young. You know, I even, um, there was a few uh, tombstones that looked like they were probably kids, you know. Um... But yeah, um, I just wanted to share that because, you know, I just, I felt compelled to. I don't, I don't know why. You know, it's just, it just seems so meaningless of all the things that we worry about, you know, during our life. You know, all the meaningless crap. And then when you get to the end... And, you know, you don't even expect it, you know. It's just, you're here one day, and the next day you're gone. I'm, I'm sure, you know, he wasn't expecting to die this week. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh... So, you know, I guess the message is, you know, whatever you do in life, you know, just be happy. With whatever you're doing. Um, if you are not happy in your current situation, then you need to do what's going to make you happy. Not just, not just, you know, materialistic things. But what do you really love to do? You know, do you, do you really love to help people? You know, I see a lot of marketers and in this industry that say, oh, I want to help people. 
most marketers say that. I mean, do you really want to help people? Because if that's not your real reason for doing what you're doing, then you need to stop and you need to sit and think. What is going to make you happy? What is going to make you um, fulfilled in life? What is it that you truly want to do? You know, life is too short. Tomorrow you could die. You know, tomorrow I could die. Would I Would I truly be happy, you know, with, you know, things that I've accomplished or, or, or done? You know, you need to think about that as well. Because if the answer is no, you need to sit down and truly take a look and ask yourself, what do you really want to do in your life? Do you really want to help people? Do you really want to, you know, um, you know, make a fundraiser for something? Or do you really want to, you know, build an organization to help somebody with a certain problem? Or, you know, is traveling your passion? Or, you know, whatever it is, you know, that... Whatever makes you fulfilled, that's what you need to be doing. Because you could be gone tomorrow. You could be gone in the next ten minutes. You don't know. You don't know when your time is up. Um, so, um, yeah, uh, that's all I wanted to share with this video. You know, like I said, uh, for some reason I, I just felt a little, um, uh, I just felt like I had to share it. I don't know why. It's, you know, ever since, uh, you know, I, I've been, I went there, you know, I just, I don't know, it just hit me. So, anyway, I've, I've babbled on and cried for 15 minutes, or 16 minutes, sorry. Um, so, uh, that's all we're gonna do for today. <laughs> and, uh, uh, yeah, until the next video update.